How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, today, or if you didn't watch the last video, go check it out. We have a new car now. We've got now a Honda Civic 1.6 Summer Special, which we're going to be turning into a track car slash my winter car. So, there will be a new engine going in. Lots of other stuff. So stay tuned for that and like subscribe if you haven't done so already to watch that build. But Skyline. We have not finished the Skyline yet, so I'm not starting that car until this one is all buttoned up, last little bit's done. I mean, it's never really finished, but you know, but the radio and stuff fitted, the panels all fitted, and a final tune and stuff like that, so that's the plan. Oh, and also, we have purchased some of these bad boys for the bonnet, so um, there's no worrying about the bonnet flying out then. I mean, this is a Cybon carbon fiber hard air bonnet, but I've seen so many stories about them flying open and all that, the latch breaking. It's sure this will be fine, but I've not really gone past the 80, 70 mile an hour size speed limits. And uh, it's because of the bonnet. I didn't want to do go too fast until we got them fitted. So I'm going up to exit now, my mate's garage. He's a proper mechanic, not like me, who just wings stuff and, and gets away with it most of the time. So he's going to like measure and stuff before we drill the hole into the carbon fiber bonnet because that was 1300 quid and if I mess it up I'll be sad so yeah we're gonna let him gonna let him do all the measurements drill the holes and fit them and then if it goes wrong we can blame him so yeah that's that's the situation it's up Exeter where we bought the Civic the other day but yeah I'm gonna head up there now I've just finished work and let's start chopping up the skyline bonnet let's do it was it not above it was, no, it was, it was behind it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's just recheck. Just behind it. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, like oh, the second set of the Someone measures things. Yeah. <laughs> just, gra oh yeah, let's, uh, just grab the bonnet. Put it in the middle. Scary bit, going to the top. Oh, it's no going back. <laughs> Right guys, that's me back home now. All bonnet fit, pins fitted. Car needs a clean because obviously sanding all the, oh, grinding out all the holes and stuff makes a right old mess. So we need to give it a good old scrub, but I uh, tested it on the way home. The bonnet is now solid, doesn't move at all. Put the rubber stoppers and stuff on it. Simple enough job. But yeah, that's it. Another thing ticked off the list. Right guys. I realised I've obviously fitted these bonnet pins. I've never even actually shown you them in action. So, imp simple as this. Pop them up. Much easier, no bonnet release. There you go. Oh, seems to uh, store some water in them. But yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Just shoving the rubber things just really tight. So then when you shut it, there's no movement in the bonnet at all. But yeah, they they hold the hold the bonnet down really well, which is the main thing. But moving on anyway, that's another job done. I have purchased all new hoses, coolant hoses, because you know we had the coolant issues 
coolant hose burst and we went to JDM Coombe on the way back, which we've replaced with a piece of, basically chopped a bit of that off and then used that, recycled it basically. And that should be sound because those are still, those are still good. But all these, I mean, these have been on the car since 1996 and look at them. They're literally about to blow up and we've only got water in the radiator at the minute. So I've got coolant got new hoses so I might as well do it all in the one I drop all the water out swap as many hoses as I can get to from this from like here maybe underneath do the bottom one at least the bottom radiator hose and the top one and whatever else we can change but I'll show you the kit what we got and I'll link it in the description if you want to get hold of it it's only like 80 quid 70 80 quid or something for a faux coolant hose kit I think it's straight from China land so should be all right though silicone silicone okay this is what we got there goes bag of silicone hoses. Let me whip it open. They look pretty decent. GPI racing. Gangster. Yeah, spang them on. Well, that's the result. Just as I was, uh, you know, unboxing these coolant hoses, the old carrier driver or lorry driver with my new seats for this bad boy are going to be here in 15 minutes so that's the result i've been um buying a bunch of stuff for this i won't tell you what it all is yet obviously you know you're getting new seats because then things just crust but uh there's lots coming for this car i may have purchased some uh big brake kits and engines and turbos and all the good stuff to make this car ridiculously unreliable and fast <laughs> just like that one but hey let's do let's finish this car first maybe before we start that get some hoses on relatively easy relatively easy should i say to drop the uh, coolant and do that bolt there or not even coolant water and then all the water will come out easy as that we have a leak <laughs> but obviously i need to give this car a good old scrub because Chopping up the bum, the bonnet just made dust everywhere. But we'll do that after. It's a good start. <laughs> I mean, they fit, but they're just a bit too long. Look, you need to. Uh, trim it about that much of it off that's all right i'll try and find some kind of a cutting devices look what's just arrived i've already had a little rummage through it to check them some poo stains all over them but we'll clean it we've got a steam cleaner wang them in there they look gangster i know it's not a type r yet but it will be right one on we have to trim quite a lot of it away you can see a couple of attempts let's do the bottom one now which is a bit harder to get to yeah it turns out that all of these hoses come longer than needed because let me look at the size of that i'm gonna have to chop all that off i mean, it's better having them too long than too short a pain in the ass still okay bottom hose was a big fat fail as you can see i've put the uh, stock one back on because because I'm up it and uh, I didn't realise that it went, it starts smaller at this end and then this end it gets bigger. As you can see by the bit I've chopped off, see it, see it pops out a bit bigger, which that is bigger than the, the bottom bit and that goes over the thermostat housing bit and I've chopped it so it's too small now so we can't use that. Rubbish. I'll get another one, don't worry. This is the worst one anyway. What else can we change? Okay, pretty much all of the other coolant houses are underneath the intake plenum, which I am not getting to because they're emission. I'm saying that, I think I might be able to change like these ones. What should I do now? We'll change these. Okay, I'm changing these ones, like I said. Because uh, they didn't like when I, when they broke down the, the, the mechanics, 
my broomstick handle that I replaced this with when this snapped off. So I'll change the other one underneath as well, so then we don't get the same problem later. But to be fair, this broomstick handle is quite hard to get out, so it wouldn't have virtually failed me again. <laughs> Got it off. Destroyed my arm. But yeah, it wouldn't go anywhere, that. I could have left that on, I reckon. But I bought some professional repair bits from B&Q. They should work a bit better. Swang these on, and hopefully these are better than broomsticks. Oh, that's snug. We need to loosen it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> right, got it out. God, that was a mission. Plus the old pipe. So that's the that thing I broke last time. And this one's bound to happen once sooner or later, so it's better to get it done now. Let's get him back in. Okay. Right, I think I've been defeated. I mean, it's all going all right. I've got to bob both of the hoses off, obviously wang these things in focus but all I've got is these where are they these like I don't want to reuse these jubilees because they're a bit janky and all I've got is like I've got loads of jubilees but they're all like tiny ones I need to get some like mediums so I think I'm gonna just sack it off for a minute on the way back from work tomorrow, grab some new, some big Jubilees, some decent ones, and change it all while, I'm, while I've got it all off already, because it would be stupid to put it back together with these old Jubilees that are literally wire, and they're almost, they're hanging off. So yeah, we'll continue tomorrow. For you, it'll be two seconds. For me, it'll be the next day. But yeah, we're doing all right. We're winning. Ha! I've got some Jubilees marked down the road, the ledge. Here, yeah, had some new pipes obviously not obviously but this one the original hose had this heat proofing on it which was quite handy because this is quite close to the manifold so i'm gonna have to get some heat wrap for that or something same as this uh coolant hose here which goes quite close we need to sort all that out but uh we still need to re relocate this oil feed, which is supposed to go around the front of the turbo, like I said before, when I put the car back together. But we haven't done that yet. We're on the coolant hoses today. Yeah, just need to connect up the front on the uh, intake side. And we should put some coolant in it. And everything should be gravy. Right, finally, all back together. I mean, it's not very tidy, but it's the best I could get, really, because there's not much room behind the engine there. What I'll do is I say, like I said before, I'll get some uh, heat wrap for all these pipes that are um, near the block and the engine, uh, and the engine and the exhaust manifold and all that. Get them wrapped up so we should be fine. But yeah, put some coolant in and hopefully it doesn't all leak out because this will actually losing coolant, coolant, and we don't want to waste that because it's like twenty quid. Right guys, just had the car running for like 20 odd minutes, bled it all, it's all gravy, all the coolant hoses we fitted, obviously it's a bit of water there but that's from me topping up the radiator when I was trying to bleed it, but yeah, not a bad day really, we got bonnet pins all done, and look, solid, no movement at all, and coolant in there instead of water which is going to rust after a while and a bunch of new coolant lines hoses but 
we still haven't got them all done so hopefully the ones underneath the intake plenum don't die but i think that's going to be it for this video anyway um we obviously haven't finished the skyline yet but as soon as we have this bad boy will be getting transformed into a destroying of cars smashes scott scooby all that track car and all this good stuff but yeah you've seen a little sneak peek of the wheels uh not the wheel side or the seats we've got for it ep3 type r seats and we got lots coming for the engine like i said before and finish this bad boy off but yeah like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you in the next one guys take it easy